Kulana Black Gemara. This is the Gemara for Monday. Abchav Ches Amir Aleph. So the Mishnah. Okay. So remember, again, we're talking about it the whole time over here is where you set aside the animals, made it holy, and then suddenly it's no longer necessary. So what happened in the following case? Nizrik Allah Right. So what happened here is we're talking about that the husband annulled, cancelled the, the nether of his wife. And and the 30 days were up, because how can he cancel the 30th day? Is because he only heard about it that day. Remember, by her husband, it's only the day that he heard, the Yom Shammai. Heard on the very on the very last day, and now she's already about to bring kabanas, and he decides to cancel it. So the question is, and we'll see what happens to those kabanas. They should have she she basically obligated to read the kabanas because she's a full zeros. But the moment he cancels it, she's no longer nazir. So the mission says, let's say she's ready in the last day, and you start to bring kabanas, you shechted the kabanas, and now you sprinkle the blood. That's it. It's too late. The husband can no longer cancel um, cancel that net. <clears throat> we'll see later what the argument is. Rabbi Kiva says, not only if you sprinkle the blood, Rabbi Kiva says, Afilu, even. <clears throat> so we're talking about an ordinary nazir, which is a full 30 day nazir, nazir tara, and you have to bring three animals, the chattas, the oil, and the shlamim. And what happened was one of the animal's blood you already sprinkled on her. It doesn't make a difference which one of the animals you spread on her. You could no longer cancel the nether. Why not? Because, because the din is the only reason why the husband can cancel the nether is because inri nefesh, which means that she's depriving herself of whatever it is. But since the moment you sprinkle the blood of one of the animals, she's already permitted to drink wine. So there's no longer inri nefesh. I, about the haircut, will discuss soon. So therefore, the, the moment you sprinkle is no longer in an effish, how can you have no right to cancel anymore? <clears throat> the haircut doesn't bother us, we'll see later, because uh, she put on a, a wig. Um, Rabbi Kiva says, Even if you forget about sprinkle, stage before, even if you shechted even just one animal, you just shechted an animal on her, and you didn't sprinkle in the bud, he can no longer cancel, he can no longer cancel. Why can no longer cancel? You might well explain, because you are being, if you're going to cancel, then the chatzas gets, uh, we'll see later more, says, if you talk about a karma chatzas was the first animal, you're going to throw it away. And it's called, you're, you're, you're destroying kachim in a proactive way. We don't want that to happen. Okay, so Kiva says, even if you shechted one animal, that's it. She has to continue. And we're we'll we're talking about the karma chatzas. Any yachlaf, you can no longer cancel. We're talking about an ordinary case where she fulfilled the full 30 days and now it's a case of tar. A regular naziris of tara. When it comes to um, tuma, if she, let's say, became tummy, and as a result of her becoming tummy, she has to now go ahead, you know, wait the seven days and bring the kabbalas and then start the 30 days again. In this case of here, and she's bringing her, her animals now in Tumma, the husband does have a right to cancel. Even the blood was spread in there. Why? Because afterwards, she's going to start a new 30 days, and he can therefore cancel a nether because he can say, I admit it's inu nefesh, because he's depriving himself of wine for 30 days. Um, so the mission, Abba Taklach, that Tumma, Yofi has a right to cancel. He can say, I cannot take Isha Minovelis. And normally Minovelis means someone that's like sort of repulsive. That's not what it means here. It means someone that's, that's denying themselves uh, the, the, um, the, the drinking wine and the pleasures of life. I can't live with such a person. Rameir says, Rameir goes further, Afbe Taklach has a Tara Yofi. Rameir holds that even if she would have been tired, Rameir says you have a right to cancel as well. Why do you maybe say you're right to cancel it? Because she has to take a crew haircut, a total haircut. And he says, he the, the husband's right to say, I cannot live with my wife if she here is totally bold, you know, deliberately cut her all the hair. And therefore he can stop her as well. <clears throat> Even when she's just a regular toy, forget about the blood, not the blood, doesn't matter. Even if you, 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 you sprinkled all the blood, you can stop it right now. I don't want to go her to go her to go through that last process of taking a total haircut. So you, first of all, the logic of the mission is because she can start drinking wine as soon as you sprinkle the blood of one of the animals. But not everyone agrees to that. So the Mishnah says, Must listen, Our mission does not conform with Rabbi What do you mean? 
he says, Taglachas Ma Kemish. Abelazar says that as long as you didn't take your haircut yet, nor can you drink the wine. We keep it like Yulcha, since you didn't take the haircut yet, I see the Bacham, if you've been wine, even though it can happen in 10 minutes, but the fact is right now, she still cannot, in theory, cannot drink wine. And therefore, the husband. Uh, the, the husband then would have a right to cancel. How come our mission says you don't have the right to cancel once you sprinkle the blood? Obviously, our mission does not agree with the Rabbi Lezer. We keep this little nibble, Matzah Mefer, because, uh, because uh, she cannot drink the wine, he has a right to cancel. So, you want to know, so what's the argument? That's the argument. Hopefully, this is the argument. Tana di dan sober, our Tana holds, Kivan di is darikola dam la alta shai, our Tana in the mission holds the moment to sprinkle the blood of one of the animals, she's already permitted to drink wine. Only haircut she, uh, she still has to get, but she's permitted to drink wine. But if her lesson evil, so therefore there's no inu in that fish, there's no, she's not harming herself in any way. So therefore the husband has no right to cancel anymore. Rabbi Kiva sober, a filu ishrit, okay, so that's. And that's our Mishnah, and we don't agree with Rabbi Lezer. Let's understand the logic of Rabbi Kiva. Why does he say, even if he just shechted one animal, we didn't sprinkle one animal? Rabbi Kiva, he holds, afilu ishchitis behemoth, even if he shechted one animal, you can no longer cancel it. Why not? A side reason. Any yachal hafu, you know why? Shem hefset kachi. Because what's going to happen to this animal? Since you no longer, she no longer knows it, so therefore there's no, no point in continuing sprinkling the blood on the mezbeh because you no longer need it. So you want to mask Rabbi Lezer, it's not true. Lamai, let's say it was an oil or a shlamim, Lizrik Dhamma, let's say she no longer needs the oil or shlamim because she no longer knows it. But you once you shecht it, you can continue to spray the blood, even though you don't have any more in mind the right carbon, it doesn't matter. You can still eat the carbon. Lizrik Dhamma Shalilish Man, let us sprinkle the blood, even though you don't have any more than mind in the nazir. The yate bossa bachilan, you're permitted to eat the meat. So what's the big deal? Why what do you mean you mean mass and you're destroying culture? You can continue the process. So why are you tell Rabbi Kiva telling me that even you just shecht the animal, that's it, you can no longer know it because you're ruining. You're destroying Kachiminat because you can continue the process, sprinkle the blood, and the, and the people can eat the carbon. How do I know that? We learned the Braisa, Kif Seyat said is on Shuas, you bring sheep, and the problem was that you know you bring a loaf of bread and the sheep, and you shechted having the wrong kavana. You, you forgot to have in mind that yes, Shuas, a shot with his man, and you shechted prior to Shuas, what do you do? The din is you continue. Hadam Yizek, you continue with the process, you go ahead and sprinkle the blood, and you can eat the meat, just, you, you haven't fulfilled your mitzvah, but that you didn't ruin the carbon. But if it was Shabbos, then we'll use it. Shabbos, you're not allowed to spray the blood because you're fixing up. It's like Midrabon, it's like Makkah Bepatish. You're fixing, you're not allowed to fix something up on Shabbos to finish the last step. And, the, you know, the final blow with a hammer. And if you sprinkle on Shabbos, it's like you're doing that because you're permitting it to eat. But Vim Zarab, if he did, Hurtzah, and I want it's it's good enough. La hakte emur and letter. You can bring that night up the fats on the mizbech. So what is he clear from here? You're not destroying the uh, the kavanas. What Rabbi Kiva is saying that no, the, the moment he shechts an animal, she, he can no longer know because you're destroying the kavanas. No, you can't. You're not. Continue. So Moshe says you're right. Amri, we say either shachet or shlam. If you take a shechet or a carbon oil or shlam, you're right. Allah am I asking? You know what we're talking about here? You shechet a chatas, and the chatas of your first mission as well tells us if you did it with the wrong kavana, it is possible you have to toss it away. Because now we learn in gila halach and shlosh niyotze. If you shaved your head on 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 one of these three, you are yotze. So any animal. Is good enough if you be the first. A chatas can also be the first. But once you did a chatas, if you did a chatas first, um, you cannot sprinkle the blood. You did ruin it because since you, the husband will know it, you no longer know it, no longer know it. What do you do with the chatas? You don't sprinkle the blood with chatas unless you're doing it for the right reason. You'll have to throw it away. And that's what I'm giving you. Okay, then the mission continues. When he's talking about the Grachatara, the mission says, only when do we say that you, you can no longer know? It's only talking about if he's a proper nose. But if, it's, if she was Tome and she has to start again in Azidus, you have every right to cancel it. Then the mayor says, a feel bit the Grachatara, he argues, even if it's a normal nose, you, you can cancel even after you sprinkle the blood. Why? I cannot take a woman who completely shaves her head. So we see from here, a woman completely shaves her head is not nice. And and, and, uh, and, and, and that's why many posts can hold that women are not allowed to shave their head completely, even though others say they can. And as you will see in a minute, you can always wear a wig if you don't like her looking that way with a bald head, you can always get her to cover her head so you don't notice it. So therefore they say it's not such a big deal. Not that they're arguing on this point that shaving your head is not nice, it's ugly, but they say there's a way of overcoming it, at least short term. If it's short term, 30 days, you can you know, live with it. The mayor, 
A man says, pay nochis. A man says, no. Why? It's a good thing he can cover her head. Because I did the zuham al because in the wigs in those days were not very nice and smelly and perspiration and somebody else is here. And because it was somebody else's hair, the husband doesn't feel comfortable that she wears this wig from somebody else's hair. And because those days it was very smelly and so on and so forth. From here, they bring a proof that a woman can wear a wig, and that's and that's, and that's kosher. Because you know, there's some people who hold that a woman cannot wear a wig; they have to wear other kinds of head coverings. And here's because a wig looks like you in here. He says clearly here, we're talking about a wig of a of another person, and it's all right. Only well, question is whether the husband likes that or doesn't like it. Okay, next missioner. Ish, a father, Madir as the father has two ways of learning Pshat. Either the father can take upon himself that my son should be a Nazar, a son under my mitzvah, or the father can instruct the son, you need to take upon yourself Nazir. The Ain Ish as a Nazir, but a woman, a mother cannot, does not have the right. The fact that the father does have a right also doesn't make sense, as we'll see in more later. It's Allah Hashem Sinai contra Bechel, and Allah Hashem Sinai said, but a mother can't. Kate said, but Gilach, the father, the son has a right to protest. If the son goes ahead and shaves his head, or the relatives step in and they shave his head for him, or Micha, they protested, they Micha Kraven, the kid protested, or the relative protested, then you're no longer another. Some shame hold it's only if the father died, do they have a right to step up? Other holds no, even the father's alive. This is part of the halacha that others have the right to say to the say to the father's nuts. Why would you want your son to be another at his age? And therefore, they can cancel the whole thing. Now, so what happened? They did cancel. And the same like the previous mission. They, okay, he made a son of Nazar, he set it aside, and now they came in and canceled. There's an argument if they, if they also have a limited time frame where they can cancel, or they can cancel any time during the Nazareth. So some say once the child behaved like a Nazar, they can no longer cancel. But let's say, as soon as he set aside, as soon as he instructed his son to become a Nazar, he set aside some animals, and then the relatives came and canceled, or the child came and canceled. What do we do with those animals? Same thing as before. He had animals set aside. Hachatas Thomas, the Hachatas dies, the Euler, the Tikkun of Euler, the Euler was an Euler, and Shlomi, the Euler, the Shlomi, the was a Shlomi. When the Cholin, the Yemechad, but normal Shlomi is two days and one night. Today, it's only um, one day and one night, and the Einan to Nelechem does not require the loaves of bread which by a Nazar required, because there's no copy Nazar, there's no hand, and um, there's an argument whether you still bring the loaves, but you just don't wave it, or you don't bring the loaves at all. What about how you like Mois? Let's say you set aside money. So if Stumin, you didn't specify, then Yipul and Dabal. Allah says that you can use entire money for Nidabal. Mois were for rushing, but if you set aside the money and you said clearly that this money, there's three, two ways of learning. If you clearly said a third of the money is a third of the money, then that's what you do. A third you have to throw away, a third you buy a oil, a third you buy a shlamim. But if you didn't say amount, you just said in this, in this pile there's a chatz and a shlamim, then we have a problem because in here you have a chatz, we don't know what's what, how much. So therefore you cannot use the entire lot of money. Is the chatz is totally yamel. But so we're talking about over here in cases you specify the let's say a third, a third, a third. So the third of the money, which is chatas, you throw away. You cannot have any benefit from that money. Argument which is of the You're not you're not over that very if you use the money, you're stealing. And why not? Because when are you over stealing if this could have been used for the base of English? And because of you, it's not. Because this animal is going to be thrown away because the Yama Melech, so anyway, it couldn't have been used. So there's no there's no stealing. The may oil the money will oil you be oil bringing money. Um, um, oil man, if you use it for your own personal use, then you are considered stealing. The may shlamim, but if you use the money of a shlamim, the money of shlamim, you be by shlamim, and there there's no meila by shlamim. If you use the money for yourself, there's no stealing until at least until sprinkling of blood. And when a cholin liyamechad is lechem, and we eat it only one day, like a shlamim of another, and it doesn't require bread. Okay, we'll stop over here and we'll continue tomorrow morning in Mitzvah. We can do tomorrow morning.